The fish are still jumping after last night's thrilling Kelly Cup playoff opening double overtime victory over Indy. Of course, Toledo has owned the fuel this season record-wise, dominating the series, winning eight of nine, but five of those regular season eight wins were by just one goal. Certainly the fuel played the walleye tough last night, scoring late in the third to force the OT. Perhaps lost in Tyler Barnes' heroics, three points including the game winner. The job Pat Nagel did in net, stopping 46 shots in the win. Yeah, you know, we talked about uh, once we got to that second overtime, it's a team with a will, the team that's going to, you know, a little grit, determination. It's going to take one breakdown. That's all it's going to take to capitalize on it. Uh, and we did. And uh, Tyler Burns has scored several big goals over the years here. And, and uh, he came through with another one. And the, the best thing I liked is Nagel played a heck of a game. We didn't, we didn't waste a great start. That's the biggest thing. When you, when you have goaltenders who are playing great like that, Marku as well, uh, you don't want to waste a start. And we certainly didn't do that tonight. Approach for Sunday. Well, we got to flip the page. You know, you got to turn the page quickly here. As much as we're on an emotional high right now, you know, there's that day Saturday to get that rest and fluids back, and then we're right back at it Sunday. So, um, you know, again, I love the fact we're up one nothing, but you got to flip the page quick. And the walleye will flip the page without Mike Borkowski. Grand Rapids recalls Borkowski today, so Kevin Lohan will be reactivated by Toledo for tomorrow's game. Now, prior to that game, the ECHL should announce if there will be any additional actions taken against Toledo's Connor Crisp and Indy's Garrett Clark after their first period brouhaha in game one. Now, of course, if you can't make it downtown in person to catch the action, we've got you covered right here on BCSN as all walleye playoff games, home and away, are live on BCSN. They'll drop the puck 515 Sunday evening.